hi everyone welcome welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you how i get rid of pores pores are caused by sebum the oils our skin produces so some people get it on the whole face some people get it just on the nose and on the chin mine are most likely to be on the nose there's no product that removes pores permanently because our skin produces oil every day so I'm going to share with you things you can do to get rid of them for a day, two or three. Of course, we are all different. Some people have oily skin and have more pores. Physically, things you have to do is clean your face, hydrate, exfoliate, moisturize and use a sunscreen. I repeat, use sunscreen. Whether you're black, white, yellow, you need to use sunscreen when the sun is up reduce on the amount of sugar fats and drink a lot of water fruits and vegetables so as i mentioned the physical things we have to do is cleanse cleanse exfoliate moisturize and hydrate so as you can see i'm wearing makeup First of all, my body produces its own oils, then the oils in the products that I use and make up itself, oils and chemicals, and then the sunscreen. So the first step, one of the most important steps in any skeleton, routine, whether you use makeup or not, is cleanse well. And even if you're not wearing makeup, but you're wearing sunscreen, you have to double cleanse. Double cleansing is use a double cleansing is use oil based cleanser then water based cleanser for my oil based cleanser if you've been following my videos i always go for coconut oil as you can see it's almost done but i don't use it only for makeup removal i also use it after showering if you don't have if you don't like coconut or you can't get it there are other oil cleansers there are other cleansing bumps and recently, both me and my daughter have been loving this hot cleansing balm. Helps remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin. The ink link is almost like the ordinary, even the price ranges are the same. Very price friendly, but they work miracles. They work even better than a lot of expensive products. So I'm taking my coconut oil. So always make sure you cleanse well and make sure you are so gentle around the eye area. So next I'm taking warm water, then use a face towel, place it on the skin, and make sure I remove as much makeup as possible. So as you can see, this is all the makeup that came off, though I didn't wear too much makeup. So if you need to go in with cleanser again, you can do it if you're wearing a lot of makeup. I mean oil cleanser. But today I was wearing very minimum makeup, so I don't need to go in with double cleanse, uh, with more coconut oil. 
So as you can see, all the makeup is off. That's why I like coconut oil to remove everything. I've used most of the cleansing balms, even the ink link, but doesn't remove most of the makeup, especially waterproof mascara. So you can use cotton and apply coconut or any cleanser and remove the remaining eyeliner or mascara. So next step is the gel cleanser or any facial soap you use. My favorite one is this Clinique. What I love about it, it cleanses very well but leaves your skin soft. Just because your cleanser leaves your skin dry doesn't mean it's perfect or it's working well. Any cleanser should cleanse well but leave your skin soft not dry so always go for a cleansing a cleanser that leaves your skin moisturized and always take a minute or two as i mentioned and go in circular motions actually if you can most skin products always apply in circular motions So I just washed with warm water, took a clean face towel for drying. As you can see, my face is clean, no that's remaining. Next I'm taking a micellar water to make sure all the dirt is off. You have to make sure you remove everything before adding more products, because adding Products over products is just adding more oils and that's what causes more pores and skin breakout. So if you've watched my videos, these are the products I use. I always change, but you can find anything that works for you or easy to find in your areas. So as you can see, I'm using a cotton pad and going in circular motions. So even after cleansing my face with oil and gel cleanser, you can see all the dirt that's remaining on the skin. So I'm using the other side. I'm going to use the other side of the cotton pad, remove everything, take a new cotton pad and clean my face until the last cotton pad is pure white. So after this step, So if you're sensitive, this is what I do to remove pores around my nose area, as I mentioned. That's where I get most of my pores. 
and sometimes on the chin as you can see most of them are around my nose however much i exfoliate every other day my nose gets pores but also depends on how much fats i've eaten so as i mentioned diet plays the biggest role so i'm just going to press with my fingers and remove as much fat around my nose as possible So next, I'm going to get my micellar water. You can just use water and clean my nose. So I'm going to wet my face. That's just an empty setting spray bottle that I washed and put water that's warm water then next i'm going in with my exfoliator this is the rituals you can use an exfoliator that's available for you or that your skin loves as i already said this is a physical exfoliator and i would really suggest you get a chemical exfoliator that's turning that's an exfoliating toner, but you can't use both at the same time. So as you can see, I'm exfoliating my face, but my main focus will be on the nose.
So I just went in the bathroom and washed my face with warm water. Drying it with a clean face towel. Always make sure you have a clean face towel. If you share bathroom with people and they can use your towel, just use paper towel. Next, I'm going in with a my toner. And this is my favorite toner by Clarence. As you can see, after applying my face looks moisturized, but toner helps close pores and soften the skin after exfoliating, especially if you use a physical exfoliator. And if you use a physical exfoliator, make sure you go for an enzyme one because they are more gentle to the skin. So next I'm going in with my hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is for hydration. As I mentioned, hydration is one of the most important things to reduce or prevent pores. So next, I'm going in with niacinamide. If you've watched my videos, niacinamide is one of the serums that I never miss in my skincare tint. It balances oils and helps remove scars, brightens and evens skin tone. So I would really, really highly recommend niacinamide to everyone. Normally I use the ordinary, but it's finished. Not only that, not only is it finished, I like trying different products. This also works good, but I don't recommend it, especially if you have sensitive skin because it has some scent in it. So if you have sensitive skin, avoid scents. So next is my moisturizer and this is the Body Shop Night, night Lotion. So this is night and I always make sure I moisturize my face well in the night. So that's why you see I use a lot of products. So in the morning, the only thing I do is just wash with water or use a cleansing milk or if necessary, a toner then my moisturizer and sunscreen if the sun is up and that's it. I do most of my skincare in the evening. So as you can see, I'm not using the sun sunscreen, which is very important. Whatever you do, if you don't use sunscreen in a place where it's sunny, everything you've applied to your skin, however good they are, it's just a waste of money and time. So hope this video helps. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one. Bisous.